Introducing the Herzberg's two-factor theory. According to Frederick Herzberg, this theory consists of two factors, motivator factor. It influences the employees to work harder, which includes how interesting the work is, how much duties and responsibilities they're willing to take, and how manageable their tasks are. The driving factors which motivates the employees are achievements, recognition, the work itself, and present advancements. Here, it shows that the employees have job satisfaction due to well-organized working conditions. They demonstrate dedication and fulfillment in order to establish the objectives of the organization. They help each other in order to establish the objectives and to finish the works on time as a result of highly being appreciated for their jobs which keeps them motivated thoroughly. Hygiene factor, a factor that comes with the job rather than the job itself. It is also known as the dissatisfiers. The absence of motivation gives rise to the hygiene factor. Employees can be influenced to work harder by interesting work, but they may be demotivated due to the level of workloads, poor working conditions, or even not being well paid. Here, for example, the employees of an organization have unmanageable workload due to which they show demotivation and get distracted by entertainment. This occurs due to the absence of correct amount of appreciation, lack of receiving increments, bonuses or other factors such as misbehavior from the managers or management system which gives rise to conflicts and dissatisfaction. The annual general meeting shows both the factors employees together the motivators being on the right and the hygiene employees being on the left clearly displays that the motivators are more active compared to the hygiene employees. The hygiene employees are partially active due to them being dissatisfied on their jobs. They may even be unable to suggest innovative ideas to expand the business because of the lack of motivation. In this case, the managers may provide them with some motivation to keep them going. At the end, we can see that the employees from the motivator factor are receiving an annual general bonus for the hard work they've put up in order to help achieve the goals of the organization. Their level of happiness due to the achievements helps them to perform well and to expand the business quickly, making the boss happier and even the managers happy. Compared to the motivator factor employees, the hygiene factor employees haven't received the bonus for their hard work, nor is their wages paid satisfactory towards the level of performance they're providing the organization with, for which they're dissatisfied and may work slower than the others. Thank you all very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video. I need, I need. Hey, 88 piece to move touch up, cheap.